everybody, it's Jessica. Welcome back to the Mommy Archives. Summer is coming to an end, but that doesn't necessarily mean that travel is coming to an end as well. My family is actually gearing up for our big family vacation that we've been looking forward to for months, and of course, right around the corner before we know it, Thanksgiving will be here and Christmas will be here and travel season is about to hit us big time. And one thing that I think is important when you're traveling, especially as a family, is to have a travel medicine kit. Now I know as a new mom, it was very tempting for me to throw every in our medicine cabinet just in case but most of the time you don't need oh 95% of the things you pack when you do that and so through trial and error I've put together this travel medicine kit which has a few essentials that I think really uh, take care of any needs that we may have while we are traveling and so today I thought I would share with you what is in our travel medicine kit so let's go ahead and hop right in so I keep my travel kit just in this small makeup bag and I'm going to unzip it and the first thing I'm going to pull out is this thermometer. This is a thermometer by iProven. It is a top seller and top rated on Amazon and for good reason, it is extremely reliable. I know you can just go to like the drugstore or Walmart or something like that and buy a $5 thermometer, but unfortunately those are not always the most reliable. And the good thing about this thermometer by iProven is that it's clinically tested and proven to be 99.8% accurate. And accuracy and reliability are important when you're dealing with a sick person. And so it comes in this case, I'll go ahead and pull it out, I already took the cap off, which is good to keep it protected when you're traveling. And and one thing that I really like about it is that the tip is kind of flexible and um, a little bit softer than other <laughs> thermometers that I've had experience with. And it works really, really quickly. It, the packaging says that it takes a reading in 20 to 30 seconds, but in my experience, it's actually taken much less than that. And so it's very quick, which is important, especially when you're dealing with kiddos. And you can use this orally, you can use it under the armpit, you can use it rectally. And so it covers all of your thermometer needs. <laughs> and the brand I prove also makes a forehead and ear thermometer that's really great but for the purpose of travel I just love how streamlined this is and small and compact I love that it comes with the carrying case and so it's very very travel friendly I will leave the link to this thermometer down below if you're interested in purchasing it yourself I definitely recommend it and I will also leave link down below any other products I mention, of course to make them easier for you to find so the next thing I want to pull out of here is also kind of related to you know if you get a fever you're gonna want a pain really for a fever reducer and so I do not bring an entire big bottle of ibuprofen or Tylenol it just takes up too much space but I like to reuse other things and so this is an old Highlands bottle and I have this filled with ibuprofen that way if you know somebody does get a fever or if even if just somebody has a headache or is dealing with other pain you know because it happens <laughs> we can be prepared by having some pain reliever I don't currently have it in here but I do plan to pick up a children's liquid version of acetaminophen or ibuprofen or something like that but I need to pick that up before we go but moving on in things that may be ailing you <laughs> I also packed along some Tums and again I just used a reusable container or actually this came from knee highs that I needed for my DIY wool dryer ball project but I just filled it with Tums because if you're having stomach issues of any sort these will be good to have on hand I do want to mention along this line of like pain relieving and stomach issues another thing I keep in this bag is a peppermint oil peppermint oil is really versatile when it comes to like first 80 type things and aches and pains you can dilute peppermint oil with a little bit of coconut oil and rub it on your temples or on the back of your neck for headaches you can use it for stomach ailments as well so if you're dealing with some kind of indigestion you can once again mix it with a little bit of coconut oil and rub it on your abdomen you can rub it on um, your abdomen your lower abdomen if you're dealing with like menstrual cramps or something like that and so peppermint is definitely a good essential oil to travel with of course it's also good if you're having some kind of congestion or something to dilute it and rub it on your chest peppermint oil is just one of those oils that everybody should have and so it's definitely a good one to bring along and another good one to bring along is lavender oil and lavender is another one of those great multi-purpose oils it is fantastic for first aid if you have cuts or scrapes or if you got an insect bite that you need to soothe lavender is great for that you can treat pimples with it you can also obviously use it for relaxation or maybe if you get stressed out on airplane rides you can put some on your pulse points you can use it at night to help you 
you fall asleep and maintain a deeper sleep. And so lavender is just another really great versatile oil and is great to have in your travel medicine kit. So lavender is great for all sorts of first aid things, but if you want to bring one more oil in your kit for first aid purposes, I would recommend a tea tree oil. Again, it is a great first aid oil to have on hand. It's very disinfectant and so just another way to boost your travel kit. And not to be left out of my essential oil roundup is Four Thieves. This is a blend um, that I did with coconut oil, so it is ready to go in a roller bottle ball. This is what it looks like in the container. This one be coming with me because I do pre-mix this. Four Thieves is great for boosting immunity and helping to fight off different things. And so when I travel, I like to apply this on the bottoms of my feet, on the bottoms of my daughter's feet, in different pulse points and stuff. And it's just good to be diligent about reapplying to help keep your immunity boosted while traveling. Four Thieves is great at doing that and great at fighting off different things that may be attacking your system. So I did mention mixing things with coconut oil, so what do you know? I also have coconut oil in my kit. I just use a travel container to put some fractionated coconut oil in and this will work great. Coconut oil can not only be used as a carrier oil for all of the essential oils that I mentioned, but it is great for so many beauty purposes, so it's great to have on hand for that. It's also great to put on sunburns and another way you can use lavender that I mentioned earlier is by mixing it with a little bit of coconut oil and using it on sunburn. So yeah, lavender coconut oil, slap it on your sunburn, it'll take the red away, it'll take that sting away, and you'll feel better in no time. And if you're going somewhere with sun, you definitely want to have those things on hand. One more thing in the medicinal realm is antihistamines. This is just chewable Benadryl. Of course you can use it if you're having nasal issues and having some kind of reaction going on there, but it's also great if you have some kind of reaction to food or a plant that you weren't aware of in the place that you're traveling and you break out in a rash it's nice to have some Benadryl on hand and so it's just another one of those like multi-purpose things to have in your medicine kit whether it's for treating allergies in your nose <laughs> or in other places of your body this has come in handy for us before and I have just a few little things left in here just small things that don't take up a lot of space but that are handy and you definitely want to pack and I have a few different band-aids I don't go overboard I don't bring the whole box because you know, if we really need more band-aids, those are pretty easy to get a hold of, but when you need a band-aid and you need it quick, it's good to have one on hand. Also, I have a few cough drops in here because, you know, when you get a little tickle in your throat, it's nice to have a little Ricola to back you up. Nail clippers because I feel like I always need them and I never have them on hand, and so I learned to start packing them. These are baby clippers, so I can use them on my daughter too. And then for me personally, I have to travel with lubricating eye drops. I'm a contact lens wearer and a lot of times when I go to new climates it kind of messes with my eyes and so it's nice to have these on hand but this isn't something that is necessary for everybody. So that is everything that I carry in here. It is empty. Everything fits in this small compact case that does not take up a lot of room in my suitcase, which is a big bonus. You definitely don't want to forget any prescription medicines you may take and as far as things that I think you should skip out on, obviously I didn't mention them, but some points that I want to make are I wouldn't pack things that are overly specific. So you don't want to pack something that is specifically for chest congestion or Dayquil multi-symptom cough and cold or something like that where it treats something very, very specific. Because if you find that you're having issues and a very specific problem, you can always go out and purchase those things later. But these are just things that are nice to have on hand, ready to go, can be used in a variety of ways. As far as most of them go and serve uh, different purposes and so you really want to pack things that give you more bang for your buck. So I hope this video was helpful to you and that you enjoyed it. Thank you so very much for watching. I also want to thank iProven, the makers of this thermometer, for sponsoring this video. I love when I'm introduced to new brands and I get to try out their products and find them to be just really great quality and then in turn have the opportunity to share them with you guys. So thanks again to iProven and thanks to you and if you enjoyed this video I would love if you gave it a big thumbs up I would really appreciate it and if you're new to the mommy archives and want to see more from me in the future please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below you'll see new videos for me every single week here on YouTube once again thank you for watching and I will see you next time bye bye